Shifting focus away from Iran, the Indian government has confirmed that it will be inviting Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan to capital New Delhi for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization or SCO summit later this year. Now, Pakistani government sources have told Beyond World is One that while Prime Minister Imran Khan will be attending the SCO meet in Russia, it's too early to speculate on his visit to India for the SCO heads of government meeting. Pakistan said that it will take a decision once the invite comes. Sources say that the decision will be taken in lieu of the situation in Kashmir. If the Prime Minister does visit himself, it would be the first ever visit by Imran Khan after he took office in August 2018. As things stand, there are no reports of a bilateral meeting or any other one-on-one -on -one engagement between Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Imran Khan. India-Pakistan ties have deteriorated since February 2019, when Pakistan-based terror group jesh e Mohammed attacked a convoy in Pulwama in India, killing 40 CRPF personnel. Over the last year, Pakistan has consistently tried to interfere in India's internal matters, including the controversial Citizenship Amendment Act and the abrogation of Article 370. India has been adamant on not engaging with Pakistan as long as it continues to back terror groups on its soil. The invitation was along expected lines. Pakistan and India are both full-time members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and its diplomatic etiquette to invite the leaders of all full member nations. India will be hosting the SEO Council of Heads of Government uh, meeting later this year. The meeting is held annually at the Prime Minister's level and it discusses the SEO's program of multilateral economic and trade cooperation as per the established practice and procedure within SEO. All eight members of SEO, as well as four observer states and other international dialogue partners, will be invited to attend the meeting. And now I'm being joined by our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik, live from Islamabad. For more on the story, Pakistan uh, Bureau Chief Anas Malik uh, getting us the latest uh, from his sources over there. Anas, uh, uh, talk to us. Uh, what are you hearing on this front? Uh, it all looks extremely precarious at this point in time. No one on one, no bilateral meetings slated. It is all part of diplomatic etiquette as such. Absolutely, Krishna. On the matter of the meet, this, uh, proposed, uh, the, this proposal from New Delhi to attend the meeting of the SCO heads of government that is on this hour sometime later uh, in the second half of the year, the Pakistani government sources have told Vion, multiple government sources have told Vion that uh, uh, currently they are not deliberating on that and that they would rather wait. Uh, for an invite from New Delhi on that matter. Uh, they've also clarified that the Pakistani Prime Minister, it is established practice that the Pakistani Prime Minister participates in the heads of uh, heads of states meeting that is to take place in Russia this year. Uh, last year it took place in Bishkek in Kyrgyzstan. So the Pakistani Prime Minister is all, in all likelihood is all set to participate in the heads of states meeting that is to take place in Russia in July. However, when it comes to the matter of, the, uh, of uh, India, the participation of the meeting in India, the Pakistani government sources uh, have maintained that it would be subjected to the invite, number one. Number two, the subjected to the then relations between India and Pakistan, bilateral relations. And number three, the then situation in the Indian Kashmir. That, is, that has, uh, Pakistan has been saying that has been a flashpoint between India and Pakistan since the 5th of August. So clearly the Pakistani side has not taken any position as of now. They're going for a wait and watch policy. But something that is to be noted is the fact that uh, uh, how would Pakistan uh, 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 pedal in or uh, posture in uh, if, it, if at all it decides that indeed it will be going for the New Delhi, uh, for the heads of government's meeting that is to take place in New Delhi later this year. Yes, Krishna. Right. Uh, Anas, uh, the only question at this point is what is the likelihood of uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan of Pakistan landing on Indian soil? Because that is yet to happen as of now. There has been no other uh, platform. There's no other invitation, no other occasion. This is probably the only occasion that even has a remote chance uh, in that sense of uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan making it uh, to India. Well, for now, the odds are very low, Krishna, primarily because the stakes have been so high. A uh, Pakistani Prime Minister has taken, the, uh, the uh, by going personal against Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, going personal against him, he's taken the stakes so high at the point of no return that even if Pakistan decides under what circumstances would it be, uh, would uh, the Pakistani state as, uh, as a state itself be able to take that U-turn uh, in order to come to India, because remember, Pakistan, ha Pakistani Prime Minister has been calling names to the Indian Prime Minister or from his personal, uh, from his official Twitter account as well. Be that be in his public addresses. So for now, the probability of that is very low.
but the Chinese factor comes in. Whatever China says would be weighed in as well when it comes to the heads of government's meeting. Remember, China is uh, China is the backbone of Pakistani economy. China and Saudi Arabia both. Uh, Pakistan, uh, the Islamabad seeks to expand its relations with Russia as well. So therefore, China would be a major factor on what they have to say. But for now, the probability or the odds of the Pakistani Prime Minister, at least for now, coming to India right. seems very, very dim. Yes, Krishna. Right. Anas, uh, I also wanted to ask you, you're talking about the China factor, uh, you know, uh, well, which way do you think uh, this is going to go? Because if it's all going to be up to China, uh, there is the central issue at this point in time is Kashmir. That's what at least it's, uh, the understanding is in lieu of Kashmir is the reason why uh, Pakistan is even saying that we will first see the invite and etc, etc. So the official government position on Kashmir will be uh, under the lens uh, whether they choose to uh, take this invite up or not. Well, the official government position would be under the lens, but remember, Pakistan has uh, has taken some soft uh, soft stances as well when it comes to the issue of Kartarpur. Remember, the Kartarpur corridor opened on the 9th of November. That was way after 5th of August. Something that Pakistan had been maintaining. So a lot of backtrack on that position as well. And as I said, the Chinese factor would be weighing in if China if at all by the by the looks of it, because Shanghai Cooperation Organization, it is a venture between uh, uh, between Moscow and uh, uh, Beijing, and with Pakistan weighing in as well and uh, Chinese side dominating the Pakistani economy. In fact, Pakistani government itself. So it would be very hard for Pakistan to say no if at all China weighs in and, and pushes Pakistan right. uh, to go to and attend this uh, uh, summit in New Delhi. So by and large, uh, uh, you rightly mentioned that uh, for, the, for Pakistan to do some theatrics would be on the cards. But for now, it's a bit too early to speculate. That's what the government sources in Islamabad have been maintaining. It's a bit too early to speculate that whether or not the Pakistani Prime Minister would be participating in the Delhi summit or not. Yes, Krishna. Anas Malik joining us with that latest update from Islamabad in Pakistan. Thank you, Anas, for being with us here on Beyond Dispatch.